Welcome back fishers to Matt's Fishing Escapes. Today we're embarking on a special journey during the summer festive season and it all begins in the early hours of the morning. The world is still asleep but not us fellow anglers. We're on our way to the next thrilling fishing destination to fish for 12 hours straight. An hour on the road and the anticipation builds. The promise of a great catch awaits. Except for having to dodge a few kangaroos, the road is our silent companion as we head towards an unforgettable adventure. And finally, we arrive at our fishing battlegrounds, a break wall that holds endless possibilities. It's a place known for its mysterious bounty, where dreams of epic catches come true. We've heard the stories, seen the photos on Facebook, watched all the YouTube vids we can, and now it's our turn. Will we land that legendary snapper, or perhaps encounter the majestic sharks that patrol these waters? Throughout the day, we'll explore a myriad of fishing techniques, testing our skills and adaptability. Remember, it's about the journey, and this 12-hour challenge is no exception. Don't miss out on seeing us catch a range of species during this 12-hour fishing challenge at this popular destination. Well, we're in a bit of a different spot today. We're over in Western Victoria, fishing off the Portland break water, the Lee break wall. We've got a couple of rods out, and we're hoping we can uh, land one or two snapper. I'm getting a bit excited getting first couple of small bites on this one. Not big bites but definitely first bites of the day. Well not gonna lie the fishing has been a little bit slow for these first few hours and I was expecting a little bit more on sunrise but there's always something to see here down at Portland whether it's the small fishing boats going out for the day or watching this massive beast come into harbour you can't complain about the location. <sighs> Well, we have our first catch of the day. It is nothing to write home about, but it's a very tiny, small flathead. I didn't even realize he was on. <laughs> I was just winding it in. I went, hmm, that's a little bit heavier. I had had a bite, um, but as you can see, if you get there, he has scoffed that right down, so we're going to have to get that out and then throw him back. Well guys, we just caught about a 24 centimetre luteric, but uh, given that I've been on the breakwater for a few, quite a few hours now, uh, sorry, I totally forgot about hitting record, so um, I've just put a pencil float on, uh, a couple of small hooks, and we're just using um, bread dough. That's a bit of bait, and I'll, uh, I threw him back, but we'll see if we can see if we can get another one. So we've just cast it out there, got our pencil float. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, grabbing the uh, bits of crust that I threw out down here. So hoping we can uh, get some more interest. And I promise I'll press record this time. Now we've got another one. Or another fish. I'm assuming it's another luteric. Might be a sweep actually. Yeah, it's just a little sweep. It's trying to brick me. Oh, he got me off. That was a bit, that, uh, <laughs> that was fun. Um, yeah, so there's some sweep out there as well. Did me on that bottom hook, we'll go put some more bread on. As they get closer into that, um, into that water, might actually just put a little bit of squid on this one, see if we can, there might be other fish out there. I do only have squid and a bit of bread as bait. Um, this is the squid tentacles. I caught about 12 squid off of Point Riley back in SA just before Christmas, for Christmas. Didn't record it. It's a bit of a last minute trip and batteries are flat and whatever. Um, but yeah, so I've got quite a few squid tentacles. Um, but yeah, we'll see if we can uh, catch another one of these fish. At least we're catching something. I mean, it's not, it's not necessarily what we want to be catching, but better than catching nothing. So getting some more bites. You probably can't see that float is going under every now and then. I'm just waiting for a really reasonable bite. That's not it. You can see the fish at the back. I think they are just sweep. As I said, possibly another luteric. See them splashing down around the bread there. Just down here. Just small sweep. Little fish. Just got the the TT. 702 red belly 
three to six kilo so yeah got hooked up in these rocks just before pulling it up so just easy to fish it down here i can get back up to the bigger rod if that does start to get some interest and definitely see the fish with my polarized glasses underneath that float be good to uh hook another one i can't even imagine that there hasn't been a squid come out to the squid jag yet or anything like that i've only fished this breakwater once before and it wasn't all that successful last time either i think i've got a one king george whiting that was very you know just on legal 28 centimeters i think over here in victoria on the squid soft plastic on the baby squid he doesn't want to give it back there we go so that took that on the uh, little squid soft plastic with the TT tournament hidden wake system jig head. Well, we got that plastic back on. Um, we'll give it another flick, see if there's something a little bit more substantial out there. I reckon a pinky or a snapper might take that, which would be a fun fight on this lighter gear, just 12 pound braid, 12 pound leader. So we just had the baby squid bait out and we've got a salmon, I think. Took a baby squid soft plastic get him up come here Not listening. <sighs> just because it has a counter three two wow that was pretty fun i was just chatting to the guy and uh who was talking a few people up and down and the the old uh uh, baby squid soft plastic was just sort of sitting there in the water and the salmon thought I'll have a piece of that um, I actually bought these uh, got to give a shout out to Nev's Fishing um, I think he was using them to catch estuary perch but um, I thought well you know they'd be good probably for salmon maybe kingfish even who knows um, and yeah we've come through so I have to give a, a shout out to Nev I can't remember which tackle store it was but he had a discount code like a year and a half ago i reckon or a year ago and i grabbed a pack and that's the first fish i've caught off them so we'll get back out and see if we can add a few more salmon to the uh, to the bag we're into our eighth hour of this 12 hour challenge and this guy's just hanging around not helping our cause uh, well we're on hour 11 of uh, fishing on the uh, lead break wall uh, nothing new has happened in the last three or four hours uh, this is going to be a short video guys but um yeah um Hopefully we can catch one last fish and we'll see how we go. I'm just trying to find something that works. We've been using soft plastics, baits, bottom lure, uh, bottom rigs, top rigs. Uh, we've been using uh, salmon lures, uh, soft, uh, soft plastics, etc. Uh, divers, hard bodies, uh, poppers, the whole lot and just haven't seen really anything getting caught. So uh, it might just be the holidays, a bit overfished at the moment. Um, uh, it seems to be the only time I can get here, so I don't have any other experience, but at least we've got that one salmon to go home with. 